Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art and welcome to my new daily painting series. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I post a new video. All right, so welcome back. Um, today I am breaking down the two paintings that I worked on yesterday just to kind of chat through some of the colors and also discuss where I think things went a little off the rails where if I could go back I would probably stop so let's jump right in so I happen to love the color palette that I ended up choosing for this painting which wasn't originally um kind of like the plan or like intentional I guess you could say um but I opted for a lot of burnt orange colors and kind of in that orange family and then jumped over into an analogous kind of option essentially working in that kind of mauve color along with an oil pastel that's pretty similar to like a mauve or like a rose um, color so um oh and then just as a reminder in terms of like analogous colors when you think about analogous colors they tend to be by each other on the color wheel they happen to work well together um, when you're first starting out when you're painting analogous colors are usually a good option so are complements so those are colors that are opposite of one another on the color wheel um i used a watercolor paper from master touch which is a product that's sold at hobby lobby but i'm going to include a link to a similar product of paper that i actually prefer using is just right now this is what i have on hand and so i'm just trying different things and trying to find the right products that um, work best for me and I just I don't really like this paper um, as much as some other brands so anyway I'm going to link below the one that I'm actually really enjoying as of right now all right so let's jump into some of like what was happening originally on the base so I did use a Uniposca pen um, this is a bullet shaped 0.7 millimeter um, acrylic marker pen in black um, so again, I'll link that below. Um, and then I jumped in and started using some India ink. It's Black India ink from Higgins. Again, I'm going to link all these products below. Um, but that's what really made that really nice, deep, dark, intense base. I also used a gray pastel, which was part of a set. Again, I'll link that below. So for the kind of like burnt orange colors, I did use a Liquitex acrylic ink in red oxide. And then I used this ink in, um, it looks, it's a Chinese orange. That's right. So um, again, I'll link that below. I also used this really nice rose um, kind of, well, actually it's blush chair, no, blush tint, excuse me. Again, so I'll link that below. And that was that kind of softer color there. Oh, and one of the colors that I forgot, I also used, I used a gouache from Turner. Yes. So I used this Turner acrylic gouache in this um, John Brilliant color. So again, I'm going to include that. Um, the mauve paint color was this expert acrylic um, from Am Amsterdam. I did use a silver um, acrylic and I didn't like that. And again, I'm going to break down where I think things went wrong, but I used that silver. And again, I'll include a link to something similar. I didn't really care for that, but again, I'll include that below. And then for the pastel oil, I used the Pentel pastel oil. And that's where um, some of those markings came in. And then also for some of the dribbles, I used... Um, the acrylic ink in Payne's Gray here. So, oh, and then I forgot, I don't have it near me, but I did use a Liquitex heavy acrylic um, paint here. For tools and supplies in this painting, I used um, just a basic palette knife and then the Princeton Catalyst wedge um, to essentially move the paint around. So that's kind of it. That's all of the products and like tools that I used for this. Um, why don't we jump in and talk a little bit about where I think I would have liked to have maybe stopped, sat with the paintings a little bit before doing what I did because these I'm not, I'm not even remotely happy with them at all, except I love the color palette. So 
let's jump into that. Okay, so there are a couple of parts in this painting where I think things went a little south. The first being this part here where I start adding in the white paint. Um, I just don't like what I did with the paintbrush and kind of like the technique that I was using. It just started to get a little cloudy or, or muddy looking. Not really muddy because it's not being mixed. It just, it, I just don't like the consistency and I think that everything is just a little too transparent. There's not enough opaqueness to the white maybe. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I could go back and fix this by going over it now that it's dry and maybe trying to add a few more layers in um, because the color palette is just so gorgeous. But the second I added the white, things just sort of changed. It started to look a little sloppy, a little, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me. So I may try to fix fix these pieces just for fun, just to show you what I do when I want to quote unquote try and fix something because sometimes you can fix things that get a little off track and sometimes you can't. I guess it would be fun to see if I have a hit or if it's more of a learned experience. So not a failure per se, but a learning experience of like, could I correct some of the things that I wasn't quite happy with? Um, the second area where I feel things got a little out of control or where I just don't quite care for it is when I started adding in the silver paint. So I definitely wouldn't add the silver paint. Um, maybe a gray, I just don't like the metallic. Um, the metallic is just something that didn't really fit once I started to see the full painting come together. I do still love the color palette, um, so maybe I'll just create two new pieces um, with the same kind of like technique materials and um, just kind of see what happens there. So we'll see if I kind of take this further, but I definitely don't like the composition. I definitely don't like kind of like from this point, that point forward that I showed you where I started adding in the white acrylic. It just didn't work for me. So we'll see what happens in the future. Um, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and sign up for notifications so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So thanks for being here. Let's meet up again.